Morning guys, welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'll tell you what, it is getting warm already today and we're expecting to have a major heat wave here in the North Dallas area coming this weekend. So guys, if you're out here in this kind of heat, just be careful, just make sure you're not out in it too long because I'll tell you that kind of heat can just literally do some serious damage to you if you're out into it for a good while and i'll tell you what now guys talking about being in the hot seat and from my opinion from what we watch the game is afoot now what am i talking about well every news article practically that i was looking for today to find something really great to share and talk about and things like that they're all all on this debate thing now for me that just, it, it's like, okay, what's going on behind the scenes that they don't want us to know about that they're putting so much emphasis on this one debate and the big distraction that it is. Now, having said that, wow. Apparently, this is the very first presidential debate. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, that has happened, you know, way before these conventions and stuff like that. And a lot of people have been saying that, listen, they have been out there looking for a way to already replace, you know, Biden, you know, the Democratic Party. And I guess this was a big test, you know, like if his points didn't, you know, pan up or stuff like that, they're going to look for a replacement. Well, my word, some of the, the, the CNN themselves is out there reporting that, you know, the Democrats are going nuts and they're begging the White House to replace Joe Biden and all this and that and on and on and on. And of course, you know, they're saying, hey, how Trump just decimated him and stuff like that. In fact, Trump really didn't even have to say anything. All he had to do was let Joe Biden do his own talking. And that was enough. Guys, I watched a bit of it. I'll tell you, it was a pitiful sight to see. When you watch the President of the United States shuffle in and mumble with his words and literally getting brain fog and all stuff like that. In fact, my heart went out to the guy, to be completely honest, because I thought, you know, they're making a, they're making a mockery of him in this respect and showing just, I mean, if you were a foreign leader, especially a an opposing foreign leader, that would not instill any kind of concern or fear or nothing. I mean, you'd look at that and you think, wow, do I ever have an opportunity? At least that's how I would have perceived it because he showed such a, a, a lack of confidence and a kind of mumbled brain fog weakness that I think any adversary would want to take advantage of, that's for sure. But guys, I'm going to tell you something. I believe the whole thing's scripted. I believe it is a dog and pony show from literally the word go. And I think that they were just looking for an opportunity where they could kind of, kind of, you know, say, okay, hey, we're going to get to the convention. Watch and see if this doesn't happen. My guess is we're going to get to the Democratic National Convention and we're going to watch Joe Biden get up there. And you know what he's going to do? He's going to give some pass the buck baton speech where he says you know i've i've had some great things i've really you know represented y'all so well and and how i've just loved it but it's time for me to pass the baton to a younger generation who can take it right across the finish line or something like that i think that's what's going to happen and they already got people in the wings waiting for it now one of the people that they're proposing is Gavin Newsom and considering what I just reported, what we just reported there, where Gavin Newsom in the state of California when it came to new taxes was petitioning the Supreme Court of California to even take the question off the ballot so Californian citizens could not even make up their own mind and vote on it. I'll tell you what, what an insult to this republic. And that's one of the guys that they're thinking that they want to put up there to run against the other candidate over here and on and on. And guys, I'm telling you, we are just watching sheer theater. I do not believe for one second that this is a legit race. This is just hogwash, in my opinion. It's more like a selection. And, you know, we're watching just it, it, a dog and pony show, to be sure. And think about it like this. Here we have no live audience in that debate, not a live audience at all. 
and all the rules that they had put out there, it literally looks like it was a show scripted right out of Hollywood so that they could, you know, say what their talking points were and get to the end result where they, what they wanted. And I think what they wanted was an excuse in the public eye to go out there and replace the current can Democratic uh, president. That's how I kind of look at it right there. Boy, I'll tell you what. Mm-hmm. You couldn't make this stuff up if you even tried these guys. I mean, if you can't see for yourself right now that we're just in some sort of big game. And when I say the game is afoot, watch and see what happens in this market. And this market coming up between now and November. Watch and see what they pull. I'm telling you what, I think things are just going to go on an absolute tear. And you're going to see that in the equities market. And I believe you'll see it in this digital asset space. I genuinely do. And of course, they're putting in max pain right now, aren't they? In terms of like holding on and having those kind of convictions and sticking with them kind of thing, right? And yet you wait and see what they pull out of their hats. I kid you not. I've been here before. Hey, look, I look, we're this isn't our first first rodeo, as they like to say. And guys, it feels exactly like it did back then. But when you look and see how littered every news outlet is with, you know, commentary around the wide world on this one debate, it causes me to think, hey, what's going on over here that they don't really want us to see? It would not surprise me, guys, if we see something big come out in the news within a week or two that they had all doing a foot right over here while they're getting everyone's attention over here, getting everyone riled up and wound up and on and on and on, causing folks not to use their critical thinking. I mean, you just listen to the after show of that debate on all of them. I don't care whether it's Fox, CNN, MSNBC, it does not matter. All of the commentary was practically singing the same song, literally. And for me, guys, that just does not pass the smell test, I'm telling you. And so use your own critical thinking. Put your thinking cap on and just ask yourself, why, oh, why would they allow things to go down this way? And what are they going to do next? Now, having said that, I'm going to say this. Mm. So here in July... You know, you got Donald Trump potentially facing some sort of, you know, sentence. Wouldn't it be just the cream on the cake, the cherry on top, that they put him behind bars during this whole deal and they just ratchet up the drama and all this and this and that? I wouldn't be a bit surprised that the guy gets sentenced to spend time behind bars and that, you know, they throw that in there and there you're going to have a, 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 a running you know, presidential candidates sitting there behind bars and on and on and on. Now, I do believe that they do that. They may as well just write, write, write him right down there and give him the election hands down. I believe that if they do that, that's what will happen. He, this guy is going to win if they, if they push that envelope. Look at his numbers, how they actually increased once they did all this deal and, and the whole conviction thing, they went up like absolutely crazy. It seems like every time they throw missiles his way, man alive, it's almost like a reverse reaction of what they expect. The guy is like the Teflon Don. You remember that? <laughs> and I'm telling you, it is truly wild to watch this political theater that we're watching here in the United States. And the thing that really is kind of interesting is, you, you know, a lot of Americans don't really, you know, listen to the debates over there in England or Australia or Canada or this, that. Do you know how many people watch this? It's in the deck of millions that watch this, you know, this debate from around the wide world. It seems to just capture people's attention. And I'm telling you, if you think that the United States is held in high esteem after watching all of these freaking nonsense political games that get played where it's literally causing embarrassment you know around the wide world to see it and like i say watching that performance you know of joe biden would not instill any kind of respect in any adversary whatsoever it would just embolden them to be uh, that much more you know out front with whatever their agendas are that's at least how i saw it and it's unfortunate because listen this country and the principles for which it was built on, there was no other nation on earth 
that gave the liberty to its people that the United States have. And that is hands down constitutionally. You can see that around the wide world and just compare it with the Westminster system that you have over there. Reading articles how, you know, people right now, you say something that offends somebody or they think you're about to say something that offends somebody. Well, your freedom of speech is cut off at the knees, boy. You could be literally hauled in before a magistrate and, you know, be in order to, you know, gag yourself and not say anything at all, even though you haven't even said anything yet, but they're going to make sure you don't. And if you actually breach that order, well, then you can face jail time. That's the kind of rules and laws they got going over there in Canada and the UK and in Australia and stuff like that. It is absolutely obscene, but that's what we're seeing. We're seeing attacks against people's freedom of speech. Yep, right there. And I'm not even a born American, but I'll tell you what, what the, you guys have enjoyed in the United States and your constitutional liberties far, far surpass most other countries in the wide world, and even those that you would consider to be free. I mean, the Second Amendment right there alone is absolutely massive. Now, having said that, you're, we're just being made a mockery of around the wide world right now because our political leaders are just acting like absolute adolescents. And, and I mean, one of the things that I watched them kind of like argue about is who had the, you know, the the lowest golf, uh, you know, a handicap at all. And I'm thinking, are you kidding me? It's a presidential debate for the election of the most powerful office in the wide world. And you guys are worrying about who has uh, who has the lowest, you know, uh, stats on their golf score, you know, or whatever. I just thought this is crazy, you know, that they're worrying about their golf handicap and things like that. But guys, it's meant to be a show. It's meant to be a show. It's meant to be for ratings. It's meant to kind of distract you and I and this is why we don't put our confidence in what's coming down over there we're using our own thinking caps keeping our ear to the ground keeping our eyes wide open because hey we want to be ahead of the game so that we don't become victors of all victims sorry of all their you know nonsense we become victors over it and don't and, and absolutely profit from what we see coming at least that's how I look at it well guys Friday. And I sure hope you're going to have an absolutely amazing weekend. Weekends are for friends and for family. That's what I love to say. And I'll tell you what, I really hope to get out there tomorrow and do a question and answer on Saturday. And of course, a sugar on Sunday for most of June. Judy and I were traveling all over the place. Cape Canaveral out there in Florida. We went up to Canada there. We were out there out to the West Coast on and on and on. And of course, some of those, you know, question and answers and sugars on Sundays got missed. Not all of them, but some. And I don't like missing because I enjoy it to get out there and interact with you, especially answering questions and sharing, you know, words of great encouragement. I'll tell you what. So I sure hope you're going to have an amazing weekend. And by the way, until later on today, when we have a fabulous video for you, have a great one and take care.